keep this in mind. The further a stock goes away from its macro channel, the higher probability it's going to reverse. That's why you saw reverses today, pretty aggressive reverses today. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Go Yankees, game one, Yankees and nine. Book it. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. So let's talk about the tape. Um, I, I wish I can find a more creative way um, on a daily basis to kind of reiterate the same point. And unfortunately, the same point is playing out uh, every single day. Yes, we will definitely have uh, days that the market will reverse, give the markets uh, a little bit of a dead cat bounce, a little bit of breather. And we've seen that uh, over and over and over again uh, ever since we lost the 50-day moving average. But again, the predominant action continues to be on the sell side. Uh, it feels like every single time, no matter uh, if a Fed speaker is dovish, is hawkish, is whatever they want to call themselves, right? It always winds up exactly the same way. Uh, today, you saw uh, at the open uh, another case of stocks get washed. Again, you saw the futures green. If you've been watching this broadcast for a while, you know what happens when, when, when there's a sell side environment and the futures are green in the morning, there's a high probability it's going to get stuffed at some point. That's exactly what we did today. Uh, and you had the same day two sell off uh, in the software names that we talked about yesterday. Uh, Amazon finally broke down, could have broke down a lot more if the market didn't um, uh, didn't reverse in the middle of, in the middle of the morning. Uh, you had Meta breaking down. You got the usual suspects. Tesla doesn't rally uh, after market tries to stabilize and go green in the day. So you have the same things over and over again. And and sometimes the best type of analysis is just with your eyeball test, right? Before you could figure out what type of technical trader you want to be, or if you want to be a technical trader, right? Before using uh, VWAP and Fibonacci's and this one and that one, make sure your eyeballs kind of, you know, are, are working, right? And you can see, you know, with your own eyes, the same thing is happening every single day, every single day. Stocks are losing their ranges. The next day, if they confirm their ranges, they're getting hit on the bottom. And it'll probably be, and, and, and this mantra will we'll probably continue to play out the same way over and over again until we start at least reclaiming, you know, at least the five, five, 10 day moving average again. Is it possible they rally the market tomorrow? Sure. Uh, tomorrow you have, um, I believe you have uh, inflation data coming out tomorrow. Uh, I think it's the PPI, I could be wrong. It's, I think it's the PPI uh, coming out tomorrow morning at 8.30. Um, you know, in my opinion, I, you know, if you're a bull, you don't want to see a gap up in futures uh, into the PPI. Is it possible they come out with something so insane that the market actually gaps and goes? It's always possible, right? Everything's possible. But uh, I, in my opinion, just from the point of reference, uh, just what we kind of talked about, futures green, they usually bring in sellers to kind of get out of their uh, to get out of their inventory if they got stuck in any uh, afternoon position. So that's that. So you have that uh, on deck for tomorrow. You got earnings season starting, um, especially with, with technology. Uh, the first two who are going to uh, be reporting is IBM, who hasn't uh, hit a quarter since uh, Moses had uh, short pants, and Netflix, right? And we're going to kind of start uh, kind of start the session with that. So Netflix, if you've been following the action for Netflix, it's been a very weird stock. And what I mean by that is if you just take a step back and you look at this whole channel and you turn around and go, wow, this, this stock really hasn't done anything. And, you know, technically, you're kind of right, right? You're kind of right. You've seen the bottom range here and the top of the range here. But this stock has been really weird. And what I mean by that is there's days that for random reasons, the stock is up $8.00. And today, for a random reason, the stock just got absolutely killed. And more important, is sitting at the bottom of the range. And if you love these bottom of the range plays, and I do, again, what we talked about, right? Look at the chart yesterday on, on, on Snow, right? We'll get the individual pivots in a second. Look at the chart on Snow and this beautiful little orange line, right? Now look at Netflix. 
right? Look at Netflix, same little beautiful orange line. So my point is, there's a lot of there's a lot of stocks that are really really aggressive on the way down, but this stock has, has weird tendencies to go on the way up. Now again, I don't know what to make of it. I've always believed from an opinion point of view, which opinions mean absolutely nothing, but I've always believed in the theory that, you know what, Netflix is such a unique company. I love it. It's one of my favorite uh, companies. I, I use Netflix every day, no matter what, re-watching shows, watching shows, whatever the case may be. I love it a lot, right? But I've always maintained the fact that every single time uh, there's you know any type of, of rumors that eventually somebody's going to sw swoop them up because again, it's just in a lot of people's uh, bread box. You got Amazon with their Prime. You got Disney, right? You got you got Disney. You got uh, you know you have uh, um, MGM. You have uh, CBS. You have Viacom. You have all these different uh, all these different sources that could gobble up the company. So every single time you see out of the money option flow, you're saying oh that's is it. You know eventually somebody knows something. The stock's up eleven dollars for whatever reason. Right, and then all of a sudden nothing happens, and then two days later the opposite happens in the bottom. And it'll be interesting to see here for tomorrow if they start really attacking this bottom of the range. Because if they do start attacking the bottom of the range here, there's going to be a little bit of a problem. Same name, like for example, like Tesla, right? So here's here's Tesla, and like I said in last night's video, I was watching it on both sides today. You know, we had this really tight channel. Uh, well, yeah, I gotta see it now because it broke. Um, you had this really, really tight channel, right? Let me see, right? So you had this really, really tight channel to the upside, to the downside. You had 227 to the upside, 218 to the downside. And it never rallied with the rest of the market. At some point today, a semis got so beat up in the last couple of days, they kind of washed out and they went green. You know, same thing happened kind of these software cloud names. Although they didn't go green, they started kind of rallying off the bottom. But a name like Tesla, when, when a lot of things were going green, never did. And ultimately, towards the end of the day, had a nice little violent move coming out of this channel. And we started seeing uh, weekly uh, weeklies coming in for the 212.50s, for the 210s. We saw some 200 puts uh, coming in as well, a little bit further uh, expiration. But the one thing we have to continue to, to, to emphasize this point, right? And this is kind of what we talked about. We talk about it every single day on uh, every single morning at the uh, morning strategy. Every, they look, there's a lot of stocks that look like they're breaking down, right? A ton of stocks. This stock for the average person will not give them great value because the stock is now down 10 days in a row, right? 10 days in a row. And, you know, it's, it's a much easier, it was a much better trade down up here than it is down here, right? You can see with your own eyes, but it still has a lot of weakness. There's still a lot of value in the market, right? And again, you got a Netflix that it's choking, that's about to get choked on the bottom of the range. You have a stock like ANET. I'm not a big ANET trader, but it is in the NASDAQ 100. And if you see it here, it stopped right at the bottom of the channel here, back to back days. One more day of downward action. This thing could see 104, 102 uh, before anything happens. So I'm kind of want to watch this thing. I don't know how it trades. I don't think I've ever traded it before, but I definitely, definitely want to watch it uh, for tomorrow's session. Um, I think we do at, at some point, right? At some point, like, I, like I've been saying like every single day, I'm not saying it to, you know, to, to hear myself speak, and say, well, I told you, eventually we're gonna rally. It just makes sense that eventually we're gonna have a dead cat bounce. It, it looked like it was gonna happen today, and then the bulls just kind of died out. Uh, spies actually were up like two bucks on the day today. You had the Qs uh, went green, you had Apple going green, but the problem was not a lot of things went with it, right? Uh, Amazon went green for a little bit, NVIDIA went green for a little bit, but names like Microsoft didn't, like Tesla really didn't. Meta got killed. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. And the hardest part right now is the continuation to find value, value, value. Again, guys, don't chase down as much as these stocks continue to go lower, right? Look at the move from the 50-day moving average and, and, and Microsoft. And, and, and granted, yesterday there was a phenomenal pivot on Microsoft to the downside. But the further, keep this in mind, the further a stock goes away from its macro channel, the higher probability it's going to reverse. That's why you saw reverses today, pretty aggressive reverses today in names like NVIDIA, names like Micron, right? You had this really nasty reversals, AMD, right? All these semis were getting killed. That was the first group to kind of reverse. You know, they all faded down uh, into the end of the day, but that, that's kind of the point. Try to find names that are tight, like a Netflix, like an ANAT. Let me give you guys a couple of more names uh, to kind of keep an eye out for tomorrow. Um, like look at a Zillow, right? Look at a Zillow. Not exactly a name that I would turn around and go, yo, I have to trade Zillow, but I did see some uh, weekly 27 puts come in, 
right? It's sitting right at the bottom of the channel here. There is a bunch of softness in real estate, home values around the country. It all depends where you live. Uh, some parts of the country are a little softer than others. But again, here you can control your risk, right? Here's, you can control your risk. You can see the bottom of, of, of your channel. And you know if it starts breaking down this bottom channel here, it could get hit, right? So keep an eye on that. A name like Roblox, right? Same thing, sitting right on the bottom of the channel here. It's a, it's a nice long distribution. Again, we're not sure. Because, because think about it. The stocks that I'm talking about, they're going down like 10 days in a row. This is what happens. Eventually, they turn around and go, go very, very aggressively. When you're looking at the bottom of the channel here, and it's, it's touched once, twice, three times, right? The fourth time around, if it starts breaking down the whole number, you could get a $2, $3 move in the stock. So that's the names I want to you know, I want to concentrate if I'm trading to the short side. But again, the most important thing, guys, do not anticipate these trades, especially when you have a market that's so stretched out and it has tendency for violence, for, uh, a really, really violent reversals. Let them play out, right? Let them put in, establish their opening range lows. Once they establish their opening range lows and they can't rally, that's when you know, okay, it's all good. It took out the previous day's range. It put in a, a new opening range low. It rallied, got stuff. Now it's about to take out its opening range low. At least if you're going to lose money, right? Lose money off that first floor jump, right? Not off the 10th. This is right. Look, Microsoft, this is the 10th floor. You're jumping off the 10th floor if you're shorting Microsoft. Again, it doesn't mean it can't go lower, right? I, I, matter of fact, if it starts going sideways for two, three days, it's going to establish another bottom channel to, to take advantage of. But look where you're shorting. This is off the 10th floor. You're going to crack your neck. You're going to crack your skull. You're going to, you're going to rupture your spleen. At, at least on Zillow, right? At least on Zillow, you're jumping off the first floor. Hell, you can make an argument with a $28 stock. You're ju jumping off a curb, right? Maybe you'll get a paper cup and knee scrape. Like Netflix, for example, right? You know it's at the bottom of the channel, right? Look, at it. it's at the bottom of the channel. You're not shorting it down here, down here. You're at the bottom of the channel. So what's the worst case that happens, right? Establish an, you know, establishes uh, an opening range low, confirms, and then only, you know, it doesn't go down. Worst case, you lose 50 cents a dollar in the trade. Adios mio, scary, right? That's the point. Knee scrapes, knee scrapes, knee scrapes. It's all about the knee scrapes, not the severed heads. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Again, really aggressive days, a lot, uh, really, really aggressive day. A lot of names we talked about uh, last night's video. Again, here is Tesla, guys. Do not, investors fall in love with stocks. I love Apple, I love Tesla, I love Amazon. I love ranges, okay? I don't care which range is gonna go. Is it gonna go up, is it gonna go down? It means nothing to me. Again, everything loves, everybody loves a good bull market, but we don't need it, and that's the point. Technical analysis has no bias, it has no friends, it has no opinion, it just has price action. That's the most important part. Uh, 227 on the upside, 218 to the downside. Here is Tesla, uh, right into the close. You can see it literally right, well, you can't see anything now because of these, Nice, nice job there, uh, e-signal, destroyed my whole point. But anyway, it took out 218, uh, traded down to this 215 level. If this starts confirming 15, it could get down to nine. Uh, but yeah, nice move there on, uh, on Tesla. Amazon was really good. Amazon would have been great. And we talked about Amazon last night. Amazon would have been great if the, if the semis didn't reverse. But listen, you own, nearly a $2 move on, on Amazon, 112 massive support daily if it builds below can flush. Again, we've been talking about Amazon's bottom range uh, for several days. So it finally took out down the bottom range here. Went down a little less than two bucks, but really, really nice move on Amazon. Uh, if it starts taking down today's channel, you could see nine, eight, uh, on Amazon next couple of days. Uh, we talked about shop, 26 if it builds below can flush. Again, only a dollar move, but again, isn't a dollar move on a $26 stock pretty good, right? So it took out this 26 level, traded all the way down here. I said it was gonna stop around the 2460s, it stopped around the 2490s, but again, nice move on Shopify. Uh, snow, right? We talked about snow last night. 157 if it builds below can flush. This was a little too thin for me and it was on SSR. So I, I didn't trade any snow, but for all you guys who did, congratulations. So it took out the 57 and went all the way down to 145. This thing was down like 12 at one point. Really, really big move. Congrats to all you guys who did take it. SSR and thin stock for me is a disaster. Uh, again, another thin stock. Only went down a little less than a dollar on Zoom. Uh, we talked about shop. Meta got smashed. When we talked about Meta last night, 131.28, uh, if it builds below, it can flush. Here was Meta, right? Here was Meta. It took out the 31.28, went all the way down to 127. Uh, Big move on Meta. Uh, Roblox, 33.50. It stopped right basically in this channel. This was th this was definitely the move of the day, right? This was definitely, definitely the move of the day. And this is kind of what we, we led with with Netflix. 
224 held three times daily. If it builds below, can flush. Yeah, that, that was an understatement. So here's Netflix, right? So here's the, you see the, you see guys, you see these two days in a row, right? Stop 224.38 on uh, October 7th. On October 8th, stopped 224.23. And today in the morning, it stopped again at 224. So it held three times. Once it broke that 224, just absolutely a move, just huge move all the way down to the 213 level. I'm telling you, this channel loses in the next couple of days, especially before earnings, man. This thing could could get a could get a header really, really quick as well. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, a couple of couple of moves to the upside when the market turned. Uh, Nvidia 117 needs to build again. Here's the whole point of not caring which way the market goes. 17 went to like 18 and a half. Tesla never got to 227, and and Amazon, right? Nice little move on Amazon. 14 needs to build. Uh, Amazon went to 15 uh, and a half. So that's it, right? So that's it. We got PPI tomorrow. Uh, we have another. I think we have CPI on either Thursday or Friday. Who the hell can keep up with these things? Well, governors, Fed speaking nonstop. I think they're speaking now. Dude, shut up, right? I think they're speaking now. They just, apparently they just, again, they get paid by the word. Anyway, guys, have a great night, everybody. Go enjoy your life. Go enjoy the day. Again, if you're a brand new trader, fall in love with technical analysis, and I promise it's going to fall in love with you back. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Go Yanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.